Now, if you are reviewing the income statement or statement of profit and loss account and other compressive income, what are the principles that you should use? Which one are more relevant? So, you know, that's okay. You can use these five. One, completeness. Are uh, all transactions that should have been recorded being recorded or included in the financial statements? So we say testing. So you are asking questions, you are testing those assertions now. Are uh, all transactions that should have been recorded being recorded or included in the financial statements? So you are asking this question. So you pick one item you ask the question you are demanding an answer so accuracy are the amount and other data relating to recorded transaction being recorded correctly so that is where measurement comes from occurrence did the transaction or event took place or occur Classification, are recorded transactions being recorded in the proper accounts? Then cut off, are recorded transactions being recorded in the correct accounting periods? Now, we are asking this question. Then let's see where you can get the answers from. And that is what we call source. So that's okay. These are the sources to answer those questions. So when that's okay, if you take the income statement, you can actually divide it into three. Look at the revenue, look at the other income, and every other expenses. So if you want to test revenue, say for completeness, are all transactions, are all sales, that should be recorded have been recorded or included in the financial statements so when they are saying that do they have all disclosed income that is what they are saying now now how do you now confirm the source or for you to confirm or answer your question what question Will you not ask the taxpayer? That is what we now have here for sources. So for turnover, if you want to confirm that everything is complete, what do you do? Go to their bank data. Go to their bank statements. Ask for sales ledger. So for instance, Randomly, just speak. Give me the sales ledger for July. And they will just go, they will give you the sales ledger for July. And you now discover that, hey, even sales ledger for July is even more than the turnover that they now declare in the account. So, you ask questions, and that tells you that it fails the completeness test. Then, cutoff, you can also do your cutoff test. You can also do your occurrence test. Then, you can also do your accuracy test. So these are the documents. Oh, give me sales invoice for so, so, so period. Just to test. That will tell you a lot. Then you can ask, okay, no, no problem. Let me go and carry their VAT returns. You review their VAT returns to see if to see if 
the VAT returns and the turnover are saying the same thing. Because what happens is that, you know, you file VAT returns on a monthly basis. But when you are preparing an account, the account is for 12 months. And if it is those funny accounts that have been tempered with, the person tempering with the account will not have remembered that there are five so, 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 so returns. So by the time you review the VAT returns and the account, you will discover issues. And then fail completeness test, fail accuracy test, fail occurrence, classification test, and what? Cut off. Review your web portals, FRS web portal. Then do they have credit notes? You can use the credit note to determine what the turnover should have been or should be. 